everybody. This is Lisa on Pressure Crisp, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit more healthy. We're going to take these zucchini noodles. Um, I just used my new KitchenAid attachment for the first time. And yes, I received it for Christmas, but this is the first time I've used it. Um, and look at this. Just gorgeous, gorgeous zucchini noodles. And um, we're just going to make an olive oil, butter, garlic sauce for it, and then take some Parmesan cheese and shave it over the top. You can also use marinara and put that on top with some Parmesan cheese just to change it up. But what makes this so interesting is that we're going to cook these in the Ninja Foodi. And stay tuned to see how we're going to do that. And you're going to laugh to see how simple this is. You're just going to take, this is just one small zucchini. You're just going to, uh, if you have a spiralizer for the KitchenAid, use that. Or if you have a spiralizer, like a handheld one, you can use that as well. Um, these are like super long, so you can actually break these into smaller pieces if you want, or just wait until after they're cooked. What makes this so unique and interesting is that we're going to be actually doing it in the tender crisp basket. So you're just going to put your zucchini in the, the basket, you're going to put it right in. Then we're going to close the lid, go ahead and turn it on. We're going to hit the air crisp. We're going to keep it, let's, actually let's take it down to, take it down to three, whoops, 50. And we're going to take the time and we're just going to put it on, whoops, we're all down to one in a minute. There's five minutes. Let's try it for six minutes and hit start. Okay, and you're going to want to check these every few minutes. Just take your tongs and just give them a toss. Um... What the tender crisp function is doing, it's actually dehydrating them a bit. Because I know when you saute these, it, it usually ends up super wet and almost like mushy. And to me, it's not very palatable. I prefer to cook them in um, the Ninja Foodi, so they're a little bit drier and much more tastier. Okay, so it's been six minutes. Once it's done with the cool phase, we're going to go ahead and open the lid. There we go. Now I'm just going to reach in here and grab a piece. I just want to taste it, see what it tastes like. Okay. A lot of the moisture has been removed. Um, they're still like al dente. So what I'm going to do is take these zucchini noodles and put them in a dish. I'm actually going to take this basket right out of here. I'm just going to pour those zucchinis into a bowl. Let me get that last little nibbin out of there. So now what we're going to do... We're gonna go down here and we're going to hit sear saute. We're going to put medium high and hit start. Okay, so to make that olive oil uh, butter garlic sauce, we're just gonna add just a little bit, maybe a tablespoon of olive oil. That might be a bit too much in there. And we're gonna go ahead and add less than a tablespoon of butter and we're gonna let that melt. All right, so we're fully melted. We're gonna go ahead and add the garlic. This is just one clove. Um, it's not minced, I couldn't find my mincer. Um, this is chopped. Some of the pieces are a bit too large, but that'll be fine. It'll taste great. All right, so we're gonna let that cook up just a little bit. You do not wanna like, you can brown your garlic, but it's a fine line between browning and burning the garlic. Because once it's burnt, it'll taste very, very bitter. So you got to be ready to take this pot out of this Ninja Foodi and take this sauce and immediately put it on the zucchini noodles. So we're going to stand at the ready. Oh, the, oh my God, you got to smell this. This is, oh wow. Mmm. I mean, you can do the same thing with broccoli. It's, it's fantastic. My mother used to do this with, she cooked pasta instead of the zucchini, make a sauce like this, steam some broccoli up and mix this with the pasta and this sauce and it was so good. All right, it's almost there. I can tell by looking at it. We're getting to that point. Keep the garlic rolling. All right. Yeah, this oil is probably a little bit too much for this one zucchini, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and hit stop. Now you're going to take this pot right out of this foodie and pour this sauce right over the noodles into the other pot. 
Oh yeah, look at that. Gorgeous. I'm just gonna take the Ninja Foodie Pot and put it back in there, shut it off. Let's go over to the noodles. And we're gonna toss this with the tongs. Yeah, it's a little bit too much um, oil for this. I probably would've used um, two zucchini. You're gonna take a pinch of salt, not too much. And I loved black pepper, fresh black pepper on this, so I'm gonna go overboard. You're gonna think it's too much, but it's really, really good. Then to finish this off, um, you can add some parsley if you wanted to. And um, let's just plate it up and give it a taste. Got a nice white gorgeous plate here. And we're just gonna put that right out there. I mean, look at that. Just beautiful, gorgeous. All right, let's do a taste test. I almost forgot the Parmesan cheese. So we're just gonna take some Parmesan, just fresh grate that right over the top. You don't have to add this, this is an optional step, but we'll just add a little bit. Just to see, it's gorgeous. All right, it is taste test time. Look at that, I don't know if you can see that, but look, just beautiful. It's a perfect healthy dish. Like I said, this is probably a little bit too much oil and butter for the one zucchini, probably two. But let's just dig right in. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's like spaghetti. Well, zucchini noodles. Let's go ahead and taste this. It's actually perfect. Um, there's no moisture in it like you usually get when you saute this with the same ingredients. A lot of the moisture is taken out, so you got a nice crunch. It's not cooked all the way through to like the mush stage. Um, not to knock that because if people like it cooked that way, by all means, do it. But this is a simple side dish. Um, you can eat this late lunch, late dinner, whatever. But definitely make those zucchini noodles and put them in the Ninja Foodi. Take some of the moisture out and delicious. Um, so please like and subscribe and um, check out my Facebook page. It's Pressure Cook Crisp on Facebook. And um, I'll see you soon with more videos.